Smaller banks, credit unions, and customers could be negatively impacted by a settlement between Visa, MasterCard, and other financial institutions. Sammy, Sam Matheny explains what this means when you swipe your credit card. Visa, MasterCard, and financial institutions proposed a settlement to end a decades-long lawsuit over fees charged to business owners with every swipe of a card. It lowers the fees by at least 0.04 of a percentage point. But smaller banks, credit unions, and financial analysts are concerned this could affect their future and their customers. When you go and you, you buy your household goods, you buy your groceries, uh, you decide to use your SEFCU card. They might say, we're going to charge you 3% more for that transaction. The settlement must first be approved by a federal judge. Under the settlement, merchants can choose to add additional fees on top of the swipe fee only to customers who don't use a partnering bank or credit union. They can also offer discounts to those who do. That applies to credit and debit transactions. SEFQ's Vice President Doug Hanley says it could steer people to bigger banks, pushing smaller financial institutions out of the market and making home and car loan approval more difficult for low-income applicants. If you do that and you reduce the competition in the financial institution market, it's going to lead to higher fees and higher interest rates which is not good for the financial institutions uh, that, that are pushed out of that market, uh, but it's also not good for the consumers um, that are using that product. America's Credit Union is an advocacy group for credit unions. Staff there say they weren't available for an interview before our deadline, but a news release on their website shows they don't support the settlement. It states merchants may accept and enable some, but not all, digital wallets, meaning you could be denied for payment if you pay from your phone. We reached out to hometown community banks several times this week for an interview, but they did not give back to us. We also reached out to the American Bankers Association, and we haven't heard back yet. Reporting in Peoria, Sam Matheny, 25 News.